Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Power Query. So these instructions will be for Excel 2010 or Excel 2013 for Windows. If you have Excel 2016 for Windows, then Power Query is already included with that version and it's located on the data tab of the ribbon. So here I am in Excel 2013 and we're going to need to download the Power Query add-in from the web, but before we do that we need to determine what bit version we have of Excel, 32-bit or 64-bit. And you can find that in Excel right here. If you just go to, in Excel 2013, you're just gonna go to the file menu here and then click on account on the left side. And then we're gonna click this button that says about Excel. That'll bring up this window. And you can see right here, it says 32-bit. So I have the 32-bit version. It's either gonna say 32 or 64. So just remember that, that you have 32-bit. Most of the time, you're gonna have 32-bit. And if you have 64, you probably already know that you have 64. Uh, in Excel 2010, this uh, says help. You're gonna go to the help on the left side here after you're clicking file. And then you'll see the uh, bit version right here on the help screen. All right, so now that we know that we have 32-bit, we basically just need to go to this site that uh, where we can download Power Query from Microsoft. Now, this site might change in the future, but I'll keep a link uh, updated below the video for this page right here. And right down here, uh, you'll see you can select your language, and then you can click this big orange download button to download Power Query. And now it's gonna ask you if you have 32 or 64-bit. There's a lot of jumbled mess here, but right here's what we're looking for, 32 or 64-bit. So I want 32-bit, because that's the version of Excel I have. So I'm gonna click this checkbox and then click Next right here. And that's gonna take me to another page and initiate the download. So it should only take a second to download. You can see it's downloaded right here. So now once it downloads, we'll just need to open the uh, MSI file here to run and install it on the computer. Oh, and one other thing you have to do is close Excel. I forgot that step, but you have to close Excel uh, before you can run the installer. So I just completely close down Excel. I'll go ahead and do that right here. We'll click retry and now we're able to install it. So this is just a basic installation. Just go through the steps here to install it on your computer and then it should just take a few seconds to install. Okay, it took a little more than a few seconds, but it did complete the installation here. So I'm just gonna now click finish and now Power Query will be installed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open Excel again. And now we have Excel open again and you can see that the Power Query tab has now been added here up to the ribbon. So clicking on the Power Query tab will show all the Power Query buttons and features here. And of course, Power Query is updated frequently. So as new updates roll out, this update button here will light up and you'll be able to click it. And then you'll download Power Query and go through the same process we just went through to basically do the reinstall. And then that will get you the new updated version. I also have another uh, complete guide on getting started with Power Query. If you haven't used Power Query, yet. It's a fantastic tool and I highly recommend checking it out and getting started with it. So again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.